Hey, it's Lana Welsh at your Castle Real Estate. And one of the big economic factors that really impacts the real estate market is what's going on with inflation. Uh, not only does that impact the, the price of the home or the price that you pay for rent, it also has a big influence on what your mortgage cost is going to be in terms of the rate that you have to pay. And there's a lot of headlines just nonstop about how bad things are with inflation. Uh, but a part of the reason for that is the inflation numbers that you see most commonly cited, and actually we had a new uh, report come out this morning, are the average over the last 12 months. But if you look at inflation on a monthly basis, which is not usually reported in the media, what you find is that it's been declining very, very rapidly over the last four or five months, and that the annual number that you're hearing in the media is a lot more scary than what's been happening just recently. So there's a couple factors that have been driving this. If you think back in your mind at 12 or 18 months ago, gas was nearly $5 a gallon, at least here in Colorado, and that's like $3.30 a gallon. So it's, it spiked and it came back. Another big driver of inflation is the price that you have to pay for your rent. And that spiked up quite a lot and has declined it just a little bit. Similarly, if you're a home buyer, Home prices have been going up at a very, very steep rate, and now they've really slowed down to they're barely increasing at all. New car prices, used car prices had also spiked quite a bit about a year and a half ago. That was largely driven by supply chain constraints where there wasn't enough of these electronic chips to be able to build the cars, and the consumers were fighting over what few number of cars were available, and it really drove the prices up. Those supply chain problems have all been taken care of, and now there's enough cars for the majority of people to be able to buy. So dealers are once again willing to discount and negotiate a little bit where in the past year and a half they weren't. Just a couple of examples, but there's many different things that are driving the inflation rate to slow down quite a bit. So you should expect over the next several months, you'll continue to see headlines about inflation gets better and better. That will mean a lot of great things for our overall economy.